Hello, today I present to you an older, modified project. Because I had countless requests for data about this project, I decided to present this tutorial with the attached files and in the most universal and friendly format. I replaced manual control with light control. This mode of transmission was used on warships in World War II. Transmitting Morse code characters through light. Also, such a device is useful in case radio communications are stopped in the event of a nuclear cataclysm. With an average laser beam, the transmission distance can easily exceed 1 km during the evening. The principle of operation is simple, a light beam falls on the surface of a small solar panel and it changes its potential at the terminals, in turn controlling a digital pin of the Arduino board. You can use any type of mini solar panel that does not exceed the voltage accepted at the terminals of the Arduino controller, within 5 volts. Arduino compares the times that the panel is illuminated and makes the difference between lines and dots, then decodes into letters. Find in the description the codes and electrical diagrams for two types of display, OLED 64 by 128 and SPIST 7735, depending on the components of each. You can use a flashlight instead of the laser, but the transmission reception distance will be significantly smaller. Handle the laser beam with care, it can be dangerous for the eyes. Materials used, Arduino Nano, ST7735 display, passive buzzer, a mini solar panel, breadboard, jumper wires, a light beam, laser, or flashlight. The code is built in the Visuino program, a very intuitive and easy software with which you can develop applications and codes with just a few mouse clicks. Find in the description the electrical diagram, the code in IDE format, the libraries used as well as in Visuino format. It should be mentioned that for those with the Visuino program installed, the code only works in the version in the description. If you are advanced in working with the Morse alphabet, you can change the values in the two components of the code responding to the handling speed. Pulse generator and delay. Increase the frequency of the generator and decrease the delay value. If you want to load the code from the Arduino IDE, you will have to copy the Mitov folder in the folder with the Arduino libraries. Find the folder with the H components in the description. Open the sketch and choose the Arduino Nano board and the port used. Copy the Mitov folder to the Arduino library folder. The device is especially effective at night, or in semi-darkness. If the light level is still high, connect a resistor between 5 volts and pin D2 of the Arduino board as you can see in the electrical diagram. After the screen fills, you can transmit 6 points and the system resets from 0. The device only decodes the letters of the alphabet, an improved version will follow, with punctuation marks and numbers included. If you liked my project, don't forget to give a share, a like and a subscription. Thank you.